connection set. Let's go. She needs volume now. Wait, we can actually transfuse directly from person to person? Yep. Buddy transfusion. Did all the time in combat. You just sedated her. This is so beyond the rules. I mean, TC... Listen, this is all on me. I couldn't let her die. You shouldn't even be here. You, you got too much to lose. So does Amy. Open her up. Let's do this. Oh, is he gonna make it? No. He's dead. I'm doing compressions to pump the blood from his body in the boomers. I had to do what I had to do, right? Yeah. You saved him, TC. You saved him. Pulse is strong. BP's up to 105 systolic. Her color's coming back, too. Let's recheck her CBCs and see where we are. Way to go, TC. Yeah. Your dad has a, a tube in his neck, and that helps him to breathe. And he's gonna be okay. All because of what you did. I'm sorry I hit you. I was so scared. I was too. But I had a promise to keep, right? Anyway, you hit like a girl. Good. Girls rule. <laughs> okay. Ready? You fetch the water, I lay the table. And in our hearts, we still pray for sons and daughters. And all those evenings out in the garden with red, red wine. It's quiet hours turning to years. Hey, can I talk to Lynn? I know, she's sleeping. She's, she's always sleeping. <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah, I, I, I know it's early, honey, but... Uh, I, I, just wanted, I just wanted to hear your voice. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I didn't tough nitrous on my shift, but uh, it's a good idea. No, but it's probably better that Jordan found out than Ragosa. Yeah, well, yeah, plus now people won't think I would have died on the Craig. <laughs> I don't think anyone thinks you're a wimp. Here, let's see if we can get the swelling down. It's just weird having Jordan as the boss. We're friends, and so we're just trying to find out where we draw the line. I don't know, it's all very yeah, weird. Yeah, oh, I mean, drawing the line with work friends is... It's hard. You know... I never properly congratulated you on your victory. Hey, don't worry, I'm not gonna tell anyone. It, it's not that. And what? I... Are you gay or something? Oh God, you're gay? I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna sue this hospital. You think I give a crap? Hmm? Your sister was dying. And you might not care now, but I promise you, in a day, a week, a month, you would've cared. And trust me, you don't wanna spend the rest of your life knowing that you let someone die that you could've saved. Sometimes, you do what you have to do. They just hurt me so damn much. I know they're dead. I'm sorry. If you still want to see your husband or your sister, they're upstairs in recovery. I don't get it. Because Don't Ask, Don't Tell is already gone. I, I've been to two gay weddings in the past six okay. months. Were either the military or in Texas? Just coming out changes things. Here. In my unit, in the cage. I'm not the only one that I'm protecting either. I got a boyfriend, Rick, over there. In Afghanistan, that's not the place you really wanna 
come out. Okay. What? I get it now. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me, okay? I know. That's why I told you. <laughs> All right. Listen up, everybody. I have some great news. The tailgate is back. Oh, yes! And even better, we are rebuilding it in a corner of the parking lot so that you're closer to the ER and you don't have to walk up the stairs. <laughs> That's awesome. But in exchange, you have to give up one of your 15 minute breaks each shift, as well as limit the time you can spend there after work. That's just evil. After all, we are footing the electric bill. The cost of doing business, so. Enjoy! Uh, way to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. What? I met them halfway, but nothing's free. Now they respect me because I didn't cave. You know, you could learn some things from me, too. We have a lot of work to do. Right. I'll be in my office. Have you seen Krista? Oh, dude, you gotta let that one go. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Send, uh, send Krista for a recess, Annie. If I don't strike back now, I'm gonna be walking punchline for the rest of the year. Y yes, yes. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. So where's he off to? Uh, <laughs> he wants to get you with the recess, Annie gag. Oh, God, he really goes homeschooled, doesn't he? <laughs> you know what? Get your camera ready. Looks like there's going to be tears. Mm. Pretty ballsy move you pulled off there with Ginger. Yeah. I'm not big in letting my patients die. So, what's the deal with the dress? You going to prom or something? So I've got my niece's confirmation after my brunch with Big Todd. Would you like to see what I did on my prom? Look, I'm sorry I lied. It's just, I know you don't like the fighting. It's not that. I hate that you'd risk your future. You could be great, Drew, but as your boss, and well, more importantly, as your friend, I'd hate to see fighting ruin that. Yeah, but it's not just about punching someone. It's a group of vets, and uh, we train together. We talk about things. It's like the brotherhood that I had over there. Therapy. I didn't know that. So, okay. No more full on bouts, but I can't stop training. I need it. And I won't ever lie to you again. Good. Because I know everything that goes on in this place. It's my job to know all. Do you think Big Todd will like the dress? Mm, yeah, I don't think it's a sign. <laughs> so, uh, you still got a brunch? Mm -hmm. More for Jordan than Todd. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Interesting. You wish. <laughs> I don't have any girlfriend. Uh, no, me neither. <laughs> Locked. You sure he's in the air? Well, maybe he's in another room. I'm meeting Drew. I gotta go. I'm sure he'll figure out I'm not coming eventually. Uh, <laughs> or he'll be there when our next shift starts. <laughs> <laughs> have, have a good one. Cool.